Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, today I have brought another interesting challenge for all of you. Uh, this is based on a matrix match question that was asked in our test series last year and it was also a doubt of many students and that's why I decided to take up this question. Uh, so without much ado, let me straight away get into this question. So what's the question? A point isotropic source produces an intensity I at point Q of a screen as shown. So here is a point Q and uh, uh, there is no lens initially. So because of this point source, uh, rays are uh, going and at this point, the intensity is Q, okay? Uh, I mean, uh, the intensity is I because of this point source, okay? And uh, then, uh, uh, and uh, of course, this line PQ is perpendicular to the screen and initially there is no lens, okay? Now, a thin lens of focal length F is introduced between the lens and the screen at a distance X from P. Okay, so now we have put a thin uh, lens. It could be either a converging lens or a diverging lens. Uh, but the thing is, the uh, you can assume that the rays are, even of, if it's a converging lens, the rays are convergent after crossing this. I mean, uh, they're, they're, the rays are still divergent. That means this uh, source has to be suitably placed with respect to lens so that rays do not start converging after crossing the lens. So, uh, or for simplicity, you might uh, even think in terms of diverging lens, okay? So now a thin lens of focal length f is introduced between the lens and the screen at a distance x from p. So this distance is x and we have introduced this lens. Find the new intensity at q if the transmissivity of the lens is eta. So transmissivity means the fraction of light which is transmitted through the lens, okay? So if you want, you can give it a try. I will get into my analysis right away, okay? So let's see. Uh, Okay. Now, uh, what we'll do, uh, see, uh, whatever is the intensity at point Q, it has got nothing to do with the, uh, what, what is the size of the lens. Why? Because the rays which are reach, reaching Q are passing through only the central region of lens. So, it doesn't matter whether the lens is large or small uh, because uh, intensity near Q is only dependent on very few rays which are going through near the center of the lens. So, uh, the size of the lens doesn't matter, so we might as well assume a very uh, small uh, aperture lens for accurate modeling of the problem, okay? So imagine a lens of uh, aperture radius uh, h, we shall consider the radius of spot passing through the this aperture radius with and without the lens, okay? So uh, what I mean to say, suppose this is our lens, this one is our uh, lens. Uh, so, our lens has uh, somewhere like this and its aperture radius is h. Generally, aperture is given in terms of diameter, but this, let's say this aperture radius is h and this h is very, very small, okay? So, if this h is very, very small, what happens? So, uh, earlier when the lens was not there, the ray was supposed to be uh, passing through the upper uh, uh, upper end of this uh, would be lens would be this ray pt, but because of this diverging lens, this ray is now going to point w, okay? And initially, the radius of the spot that was formed on the screen was, let us say, small r, which is this distance tq. And now the radius of the same spot will be uh, wq, okay? Or let's say, call, let's call it capital R. Initial radius is small r, okay? So I hope you understood the geometry, what's happening. And this h is very, very small. Think of h as as small as you can imagine it to be because intensity at q uh, doesn't depend on uh, what is happening with the uh, 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 very far off rays from the center, okay? And uh, these theta and this phi, they are very small angles and exaggerated only for the illustration purposes, okay? So now, uh, the cone of light which was making a spot of radius R earlier is now making a spot of radius capital R. As you can see, there was a cone of uh, radius small r and now we have a cone of radius capital R, okay? Uh, and light is spreading into a larger area. So now since the intensity is inversely proportional to the spot area, because it's the total energy is same, but now it is spread over at a uh, larger area, okay? So now since intensity is inversely proportional to the spot area, we can say that I dash upon I. So suppose I dash is the new intensity and I was the earlier intensity. So I dash upon I is simply uh, small r square upon capital R square into eta. Why? Because area is proportional to uh, radius squared, okay? So small r square is proportional to the initial area and capital R square is proportional to the final area and area is, uh, and intensity is inversely proportional. But then why about, why this eta? Because the transmissivity of the lens is eta. So this, this uh, factor will multiply as it is, okay? So I hope equation one is clear to all of you. Now, uh, what about tan phi? You can see tan phi is uh, this uh, phi is this angle. So tan phi is what? 
so this is small h and this is v mod okay so tan phi is nothing but h upon v mod v i have used for the image uh, uh, of the source so, so p is the source and its image is formed somewhere at point d and this distance db uh, i am calling as the v mod okay uh, because this coordinate of b with respect to this d uh, is actually v okay and uh, i will be using cartesian convention uh, when uh, i mean uh, the rays are again i mean we make the measurements against the incident ray, we uh, choose the coordinate as negative okay so now uh, what about uh, uh, capital r so capital R is this and this capital R is nothing but BQ into tan phi and tan phi we have already found. So tan phi is H upon minus V, right? And uh, BQ distance is what? So you see uh, DQ is L minus X and then you need to uh, add this distance and this distance I'm calling as minus V, Y because V itself is negative value according to the Cartesian convention, right? So this is your capital R and this is the equation three, okay? And then uh, what about tan theta? See? tan theta so this is h and this distance is your x so tan theta is simply h by x right and what about the initial radius so initial radius is nothing but l tan theta okay so this is l and this is a uh, vertical is uh, uh, l tan theta then okay so small r is pq tan theta uh, pq into tan theta which is l into h by x okay so i have small r in terms of uh, other variables uh, l h and x and i have capital r in terms of l h x and small v and i know intensity as the ratio just i need to now find small v and substitute uh, for small r square by capital r square by appropriately finding the value of v and putting in equations equation number three so uh, that i can do readily that i can do very easily how see uh, so I can use lens maker formula. So I know that 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 by F. So in our case, see, uh, U is what? So source is here and the lens is here. So U is your minus X, right? So 1 by V minus 1 by minus X is equal to 1 by F. And if you solve this equation, you get V is equal to FX upon X minus F. So you get the value of V. You put the value of V here and then you divide and you can see H will cancel out when you do uh, the ratio of squares. So here also you'll get H square and here also you'll, you'll get H square. And so h square will cancel off so h uh, anyway we had assumed some random small uh, radius okay so uh, now and then just put in this equation and we'll get the final answer and if you calculate that it's come out comes out to be i dashes fl upon x square minus lx plus fl whole squared into eta into i so this is our final answer so that was my analysis of the challenge and uh, uh, many students they find this challenge uh, uh, difficult and uh, it's a common doubt and that's why I decided to do a video on it so that whenever some student faces a problem I can just refer them to the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and uh, please share this video as much as possible with your friends through WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord or whatever medium you might be using for networking with your fellow students who are preparing for ITJ or Olympiads. And uh, uh, most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated uh, to do uh, uh, new, uh, new videos every day. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, as always, God bless you all. Thank you.